News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. I knew that family very well. Even uh, their son used to come and play with my son all the time. And I mean, I never seen any suspicious like things like arguing or anything. A body is found at the home where a terrifying SWAT standoff just ended a few hours ago. Sandalwood residents remaining on edge tonight as they get to return to their neighborhood. After receiving an alarming call from a man, police responded to a domestic dispute around 3 this afternoon near Alden Road and Cavalry Boulevard. We know the man is a husband and the father of one son. In just the last 15 minutes, we've learned the man is alive and has been transported to a local hospital. JSO says a body was found on the property, but it's not been confirmed who. We know that the son is safe with his grandparents, but we're still waiting to hear about the wife and whether she was hurt. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel has been speaking with neighbors who say they're shocked and never would have expected anything like this to happen. Corley? They are, and just not long ago, like you said, a body was found inside the home. They have not identified whose body that belongs to, but they said the man has been taken to the hospital and is being treated. But you can see it is still a very active scene out here. Some neighbors have been allowed back in your homes, but if you take a look behind me, you can see that there is a lot of neighbors that are still not allowed back into their homes yet. Police say it could be about an hour before they are allowed back in. Now, many neighbors say the family that was involved in the situation is shocking. Sky Force shows a bird's eye view of a SWAT standoff Friday afternoon after they say a man called police saying he got into an argument with his wife. Susan says she came home to find police on her street after her roommate called her saying SWAT was at her neighbor's house where her friend lives. He says all the officers are actually posted around your house and they've got their guns drawn. When police arrived, the man refused to come outside. They say he threatened to harm himself and officers and also claimed to have taken a large amount of drugs. They say his young son was safe outside with his grandparents, but they didn't know where his wife was. I mean, they're really nice. The mom, the mom's super nice, especially. News for Jack's found the man's wife filed for divorce in April. This petition showed the couple had been married for 20 years. I tell you, you know, it's <laughs> whew little scary, but um, can't imagine being in any country where, you know, you could ha you would have to handle this kind of situation by yourself. Here's our law enforcement protecting us. A witness tells me he saw the man stumble out of his home before he was taken away in an ambulance. Susan is now wondering what happened to her friend. Again, police have not identified the body that was found inside the house this afternoon, but we'll continue to keep you updated about this investigation as soon as we know more. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.